on out there. It's a little bit cold. Lots of people have colds, including our next guest, who you can hear going, doing the sniff, sniff, sniff. It happens, Debbie, it happens. <coughs> Debbie Ellickson um, is an author. She's a published author, and she's written this book called Self-Publishing 101. Have you thought about writing a book? Do you know how to get it published? Or have you thought about self-publishing? I think this is a grand book, Debbie. This has got all kinds of great information in there for people who are thinking of publishing. Now, the interesting stat, 2% of manuscripts submitted to traditional publishing houses are accepted for publication. That leaves a lot of books out there in book wasteland. Exactly. exactly. And they're not going to get published the traditional way. One option to self-publish. Yes. Yes, and there's three things that uh, I look at is, is having, having an audience, knowing who your audience is mm -hmm. when you're doing your book, and then making sure that it's a professional product, so that means hiring a professional designer and having it uh, edited so that it doesn't look like a self-published book, and then whether or not you're self-publishing or even you have a traditional publishing contract, you still have to market your yeah. book. And that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Yes. And I really like the fact that you've got these step-by-step -step, um, plans. You know, what's your goal? Who is your audience? Who is going to buy this book? And don't do that. Everyone. Everyone will be interested <coughs> in what I have to say. Chances yeah. are no. You need to know a lot. And you really, I thought, took people through that exercise. Uh, to the point where they could be focused. Yeah. And you also took them through, you need to spend money here on this cover, go to your local bookstores, grab a coffee, sit back and look at the covers. What catches your eye? Get it professionally done. This isn't just write your longhand book and, you know, send it off to your own publisher. It, mm -hmm. It's far more than that. Well, and, and the thing is, um, you, don't, you can spend as much as you want to spend. There is a certain amount of money you probably need to spend to make it a professional product, but it doesn't mean you have to spend $10,000 no, in graphic design work. No. And, and there are a certain number of printers, if you do your homework, and there's a, there's a handful of printers that actually specialize in book publishing, and you can save a lot of money just on printing costs, just dealing with the right people and, and that's doing your homework is doing it? your homework yeah and that's i think the layout of your book really uh, forces you. somebody to do their homework and I is that your point yes yeah actually you know you know i like to inspire people because one of the things that some people don't realize is every single person has a book in them and you know, some people may not think they have a story, but it's not a matter of talking about your life story. It's finding a way to use your story as an example. Perhaps you're in business and you need a book to uh, elevate your credibility in your business. Perhaps you have some sort of product to, that, or some some service that people keep coming to you for all the time, and you you're so an find expert. Your thing. Find your find thing. Find your thing. Develop your thing. Yeah. And then go through the steps to research your thing. And and if you follow the steps and and do the right things, at the end you're going to end up with this nice book. Then everybody's going to buy it, and you're going to make a million dollars. And it's and maybe not a million. <laughs> maybe not a million. Well, you can make a million if you put the invest in the marketing plan. And if your name's John Grisham, uh, Debbie's book is available at most major bookstores. If you think you are a one of the people who has a book in them, this one is for you, Self-Publishing 101. It retails for $19.95, and if you're going to do some writing, this is the best investment you're going to make before you get going. Thanks, Deb. Thank you. For coming in. Let's pop into the newsroom. Heather's got the crew working on News at 6.